I just wanna dance with you Let the whole world melt away and dance with you Who cares what other people say? Hello, it's Caitlin Kinnanen. I play Emma Nolan in the prom musical and you are watching my Broadway.com vlog Dance With Me. Thank you for tuning in this week. Um, this week I'm answering questions. Um, I've got some questions for me, I've got some questions for the cast. I'm gonna put my makeup on and answer them. So, here we go. What things do you have in common with Emma? <clears throat> um, I'd say my awkwardness and my um, self-consciousness. Um, I don't know, we're both trying to do our best and yeah. So I think that part of me I have in common with Emma. Um, and standing up for what we think is right. I think I do that in life. And she definitely does that. Next question. How do you keep all the laughs in on stage with when working with such funny people? Whew. It is incredibly difficult. Um, Brooks Ashmanskis is maybe the funniest person alive. And I have a lot of scenes with him on stage. And I break all the time with him in our scenes and it just is me going on stage. So I'd say I, I don't keep the laughs in on stage. It's very unprofessional of me. Um, but yeah, you just gotta try your best to keep it together because it is hard. He's so funny. He's the funniest person. Next question. What's your favorite song in the show that you don't sing? Ooh, The Ladies Improving. I think that's like the best power song ever and Beth sings it so well it's unbelievable she's so good and that song is so good Matt Clark did a good job with that one how do you handle the pressure of not only being the lead role but also portraying a character who is such a role model for LGBTQ plus youth oh gosh um it is a lot of pressure and I just try to do my best. I take it a day at a time. I try to listen to people and listen to their stories and then I try to bring them on stage with me and it's really hard but I think this story is important and Emma's views on life are important. Um, she's a real person. She is dealing with real issues that real people face um, and so I just try to bring light to that and I take it as I said before as a huge responsibility so yeah. Um, if you could be any character on Broadway, who would it be? Ongoing shows only. Uh, Christine Daae. <laughs> Duh, I would never ever be actually able to play her because I cannot sing that high. But oh, I love that role and I want to play it in life. Um, one day, maybe if I ever become a soprano. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Christopher Sieber, we've Hi, got everyone. some direct questions. Direct to me. What was it like going from roles like Farquaad to roles like this? Um, it's really nice because I play like a, a normal human being where I don't have to wear wigs, I don't have to be on my knees, and um, I, I, all I have to wear is, is my hair, which you don't want to see right now because it's been under a hat. But look at my hat, it says the prom. The prom! Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you should see the show. All right. If you could play one role that the others have played, which role would it be? <laughs> like the other principals? Yeah, like something Beth played or something oh, Brooks played. Oh, it would it would be uh, yeah, her and the drowsy chaperone. <gasps> I would love oh. to sing it. When you stumble along a <laughs> life's funny journey. You should. I would love that. Or Man in Chair, Bob Martin's role, but he's technically, yeah. I would I'd like Man in Chair. Okay. I think I'd be good at that. Ready for your next question? Yes. Question. When did you first start performing in musicals, oh. and what was the first production you ever performed in? I did, um, I believe it was second grade, and I played, uh, it was the Christmas pageant in my elementary school, and I played um, a, a character named Colonel Cudley. Oh my god. Yeah, Colonel Cudley, and he was a colonel, and he was cuddly, and he <laughs> was in the Christmas show that we did in the gymnasium of our elementary school. And I had a uniform on, and my mom made a, uh, a, a, a pipe out of a, a measuring cup and a, and a Sharpie marker. So at the end of the, of the show, I had like a little black mark on my lip. Oh, no. Because the cap came off. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Christopher. You're Seeker. welcome. Have a good time. Bye.
Do you want to read it or you want no, to No, you get to read what it. What show slash performance inspired you the most as a youth? Me? Yeah, you. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, cats. Yes, cats! That's the first one I saw, what five years hell, old. Man? Cats, man. That was the one. I, I know that's not a popular answer. But. You know, that's fine. I Alas. like cats. I said Aretha Franklin, so. Oh, good. Okay. Um, okay. Shelby Finney. Nee. Chat, chat Shelby. roulette. It's not chat roulette. That's an old thing. It's question roulette. <laughs> chat roulette. Why did you decide to be an artist? <gasps> you know, I don't think I decided it. I think it just happened. I think it's the only thing that I can be. I love that. I think that kind of is what happened to a lot of us. It's like, it's this yeah, weird Yeah, I mean, I was on stage by, when I was four years old. Yeah. I just never left, so. Yay! You know what? You don't choose it. It chooses you! Yeah, Mary. You know. All right. It's Becca Lee's Hi. turn. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I made it really hard for them. Okay. If you could write a musical and or play, what would it be about? Cats. <laughs> That's two cat answers for the group. We found Brooks Ashmanskis. Hi. <clears throat> oh, all right. So, first question. When did you first start performing in musicals, and what was the first production you ever performed in? I mean, I did something in first grade that was like a, a, like a caterpillar dance. <laughs> I can't remember what it was, sort of Alice in Wonderland-y thing. Okay. But like the first thing I did was probably in high school I did Barnum. Oh, all right. If you could play one role that the others have played, which role would it be as far as like Brooks, Chris, Beth, in Angie, any show, in any show, anywhere? anything they've played, except not yourself because you know. Right. I'd like to uh, take a swing at, uh, literally take a swing at Angie. No, I, I think I'd like to do Angie in the prom. I like playing Angie I would pay great money to see that. <laughs> and finally, what is your favorite pre-show snack? Well, now I'm having this is rare because right I'm having now, a sweet thing I that's not have my never I have a cookie. Seen you need a cookie. I'm more of a ready bacon egg and cheese guy, this and it doesn't true. matter morning or noon or night. There you go. And right on the deli on the corner, it's really, really good. Thanks, bro. Bye, girl. This is Beth Level. First of all, we're gonna take a moment and look at her killer outfit. Those shoes, that skirt. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, she's Thank the best. And we have questions for her. I'm listening. All right. I'm sitting. That's okay. Look at just elegance. Um, if you could meet your character in oh. real life, what would you say to them? Oh, I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm hoping that I'd be a big fan of her work, so I would just ask her questions about her career and stuff because she's not, <laughs> she's not, she's not the nicest person as she starts out. She's a bit of a narcissist. But yeah. I would. I don't know. Maybe ask her something about her career and then. I would like to get to know her at the end of the show. Okay. All right. If you could play one role that the others have played, which role would it be? Oh, you mean in this in the yeah. prom? If I could play another role, it would be, um, it would be Barry Glickman. Ooh. We would name her Barbara Glickman. Barbara Glickman. Just thinking, maybe. I like that a lot. I'd take that. I'd okay. see that. Barbara Glickman. <laughs> I'm going to suggest that we just do kind of a gender thing, and then Brooks could play Dee Dee, and it would be like Daniel Allen. Oh, my God. That's not a bad idea. Oh. Uh, Producers, mm -hmm. are you listening? Mm -hmm. um, when did you first start performing in musicals, and what was the first production you ever performed in? It was my senior year in high school, which was really late, and I did Bonnie Jean in the musical Brigadoon. I love that. That was one of my first musicals, oh, so too. So beautiful. Oh, I loved it. Um, Changed my life. All right, we're going to get you one more question. She's so good. She's so good. Do, 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 do. Final question for Miss Beth Level. Advice for a high schooler who wants to pursue musical theater. Hmm. One of the best pieces of, of advice I got was someone reminded me that you are singular. And that there's no one else, no one else like you. And that gave me permission not to imitate, but just to, and I'm still doing it, discover who I am as an artist, because I am a singular artist. And just learn your craft and love your singularity. Ain't That's no amazing. Like yes. Thank you, Beth. You're welcome. All right. We have Angie Schwar here. Hello. All right. First question. If you could play one role that the others have played, which role would it be? Okay, I know it's not supposed to be in the prom, but I think it would have to be 
Park and Barker, Beth Level. <gasps> Good choice! I mean, now that's saying <laughs> Come if on. I could, but I can't. Yes, can. But if it's a dream role... Well, that works because when people ask me what role I would want to play in the show, I say Angie. I couldn't play Angie, <laughs> I but I want to play Angie that. so badly. But I, I'm not a Park and Barker, so I think like in my next life, <laughs> that's what I would like to be. All right. Beth Level. Ah! Beth Level. <laughs> Bravo. Beth, Beth Level. All right. When did you first start performing in musicals, and what was the first production you ever performed in? Um, okay, so the first production I ever performed in was in high school, and it was Alice in Wonderland, and I was a bird. Oh my I gosh. had two lines. I don't remember what they are. I really wasn't into theater. I was a cheerleader. But then my first role was Kiss Me Kate, uh, Lois Lane in Kiss Me Kate in college. Oh my gosh. I love and that. I'm not going to tell you what year it was. Fun fact, I also did Alice in Wonderland, and I played the turtle, and I sang, Beautiful soup, so rich and green, waiting in a hot terrain. Wow. I remember those lyrics, and I was 13. What's the most important message you want people to take away from the prom? I would say that uh, this, is, this story is letting our youth know that we are, they, are, they have a safe, we are creating a safe place, a safe world for them to be who they are. Yes. Beth. I message, there's many messages, but you're very close. <laughs> yes, well, I'm sorry, I'm doing eyelashes. There's many messages. Uh, one is that, A, you should come see this fabulous original musical because it's one of the funniest things ever written. And the dancing is amazing and the music is spectacular and it's just a fabulous story about love, listening, and tolerance wrapped up in, like I said, one of the most special original musicals I have ever been a part of. It's a privilege. We're here for you. What's the most important message you want people to take away from the prom? Try not to judge other people and accept them for who they are. I like it. Um, just uh, love people and realize that people are put in your world for a reason and you're supposed to learn something from everybody and open your hearts and love each other. And treat love everybody that. with kindness. That's really good. Yes, mom. Boom. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we did it. It's another week in the can. Isn't that what film people say? I don't know. Um, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Dance With Me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about our cast. And be sure to tune in next week. I don't know why I did that. Okay, bye! I just want to dance with you Let the whole world melt away And dance with you what other people